Hello and welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome back if you have been here before. Today I will be teaching you how to set a custom homepage background image in Firefox. This is the image I will be using today. Now, although Firefox is a great browser, not much bloat, very simple, very elegant, and very fast, it lacks a few features that we may have gotten used to by using other browsers. This is Opera GX, and as you can see, it allows you to set a custom background image right from the settings. So, how do we do that on Firefox? Well, it's actually quite simple, although it does require a little bit of background tinkering. The first thing you'll want to do is open Firefox, and by the way, make sure that you have an appropriate image. Any image that's scaled to 16 by 9 will work. Go up here to the URL bar and type about colon support. Now you're going to want to find profile folder. This is what it will look like on Windows, and on Linux it will look something like this. Now if you are using Linux, you might want to copy the name of the directory and paste it into the URL bar of your file explorer, as clicking open directory will open it in the terminal. Regardless of which operating system you're using, however, you should now be in the file explorer. Go ahead and make a new folder and name it Chrome. Now make another new folder and name that one IMG. Finally, we're going to create a text file and name it usercontent.css. Now, let's go ahead and copy that image that we're going to put as our homepage image into the IMG folder. Now, because of the way that CSS files work, Firefox will not read the image if it has spaces in the name. So, we need to rename that. The next thing that we need to do is we need to grab the code that I will put in the description of this video. And open that user content.css file with your favorite text editor, whichever that may be. On Windows, I'm going to use the Notepad, and on Linux, I'm going to use Leafpad. Just paste the code in the editor and then grab the name of the photo that you're going to use and replace the your image here with the name of the image that's inside the IMG folder. Now make sure to save that file. You can press Ctrl.S or you can go up to File and press Save. It's very important, however, to make sure that the file names match. Now open Firefox again and let's head on over to the URL about colon config. Search for toolkit.legacyuserprofilecustomization.stylesheet and set the value to true. Now when you restart Firefox, you will have your custom background image. And it's really quite that simple. If you had any problems with this tutorial, you can always let me know in the comments section and I will try to help you with it. And as a bonus, I'll show you one more little trick that you can import from Opera GX to Firefox. How the browser doesn't close when you close the last tab, you can add that to Firefox as well. This simply prevents the browser from closing when you click on close the last tab, which I find is quite a useful little trick because I click on that quite frequently without needing to close the browser. So that about wraps up our tutorial. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time.